Okay, let's uh, finish up this exercise. Uh, in figure two, we see the uh, teal player Salusis miss the decisive penalty kick in this year's cup final against Hood. Sis uh, missed the goal by kicking the penalty outside the head keeper's left corner and hence missed the goal. In this course, sub question A, we have argued for that in a penalty kick situation the executor and the keeper should choose randomized strategies. What does this mean? And what it means is that in order to be maximally unpredictable, uh, a randomized or mixed strategy is what is needed. And a penalty kick, uh, especially at this shootout level, uh, it is uh, kind of the main point to try to avoid that the keeper can guess where he will shoot. And uh, you as uh, and the keeper's uh, point of view is, of course, to avoid that the shooter knows what the keeper will do. So we should expect that both players here should randomize in their strategies. Then in B, is it possible to decide whether such randomized strategies have is applied by observing a single penalty kick shootout? Now the point here is actually that each of these players should have this randomized strategy. So it's kind of obviously not possible by observing a single penalty shootout comp contest to make such a decision. You need to observe each player in many penalty kicks. Okay? In normally in a penalty shootout you will at best see players take one penalty shoot. Of course there are examples when they kind of move on repeating but they are very very seldom. So it's not possible by observing a penalty kick shootout competition to judge whether they actually apply randomized strategies or not. Now you don't I haven't discussed how we can check these, okay? In order to do that, you need to perform some statistical tests, okay? Um, and I don't think we need to spend time on that. Okay, that's there is some methods to to, to try to check whether numbers are random or not. Okay. Of course if you observe numbers and they and you, s you plot them and they have a kind of pattern, okay, they go like this. If this is draws of a, a dice, first there's one, two, three, two, one, and so on. Okay, of course then there's kind of a sequence here that kind of repeats itself and it you, you, you couldn't expect it to be random. So it must look differently than, than this. So typically it's some kind of a pattern which has no has no pattern. And you can devise some uh, mathematical methods to, to check these. And these mathemat mathematical methods are available. But that's not the main point of the question here. You need to have more than one shot observ observed, obviously, to check whether it's kind of a random sequence or not. So it's not possible by just observing a single penalty shootout. Can you, by the aid of penalty kick analysis, in the curriculum or pensum Norwegian, give an explanation why CIS missed this penalty kick. And what I'm aiming for there, and of course, is that this was kind of in a far out in the penalty kick contest. Maybe Salu CIS hasn't been the normal penalty kick shooter. Maybe he's not that so good at this, and kind of kind of, kind of ends up in a situation which we have looked at in. In, in our curriculum, haven't we, where you kind of miss the goal far out in the penalty kick contest. So this kind of corresponds with our theory, so to speak, an example of that. That is the type of answer I would like to get there. <coughs> <coughs> okay, that seemed to be the last question. We looked at uh, exercise three. Exercise 2 and exercise 1. Okay, that ends our journey this semester. Uh, we have. Hmm, what is this? 
interesting. Maybe we can go out and go in again. Maybe that will help. So, do you have any questions? Now is the chance. Or actually not. You can, of course, still ask me questions. I thought I should try to get up this information sheet, but it... Uh, seem to be difficult. Ah, there it came. Um, we have uh, talked about these two different textbooks. We have um, discussed the main points. We have looked at a lot of exercises. I assume the, this year's exam will be some kind of look like these exercises, but not the same. Okay, but, um, The same topics will be treated in one way or another. There will, there will not be any uh, revolutionary news when it comes to the contents of the exam exercises. And as I said before, there will be an English version as well as a Norwegian version. I normally try to grade these exams as fast as possible, so uh, uh, the exam is early December, isn't it? Second, yeah. Uh, no, it's the 18th. There will be a guest lecture then on the 24th. And the exam is here. So the exam is exactly two weeks from now then. Hopefully I'm able to make the grades finish by the this week. So that's how it works. My office, 241. I think that's the correct number. If it's not, then it's at the far east, south east in this end at the, the top floor, the, the floor above this one. And my name is on the door and there is a big or small MFK flag on the door so it's very easy to find. As well as this nifty gold medal we got on this match against old which is also hanging there so my, my door is very easy to find. If you want pointers to what topics that may be Problemized on the exam, you may have a look here on this web page, Academy.edu. Some of you may be aware that I have been writing about football the whole semester, and all these writings are collected here. So, uh, it may be a good idea to read through this, I don't know. Maybe some of these topics will be a part of the exam. Okay, but there's a lot to read here, as you can see. So, um, but it may be that uh, something here may kind of pop up, at least problematized in the exam, of course not uh, some of the contents of this which are kind of not in this course, but um, that may be an interesting link to look at. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say, unless you have some questions, comments, something you want to discuss in public. If not, of course, you can always visit me in my office and we may discuss some more concrete topics. So how many students will take this exam? It seems to be far more students uh, on the list of participants than, uh, than those who have kind of followed the course. Uh, is this this uh, Barium player? Will he take exam, do you think? You think so? So they are following the course on the web then or something. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's you. Are you you're not related to Matti? He's your uncle. Ah, you know Matti Gokser? The professor at the Norwegian sp Sports University in Oslo. Why don't you study there then? With your uncle? Didn't you come in, or <laughs> was that your preferred choice? No. No. <coughs> no. <laughs> I'm getting personal. Yeah, don't. You don't. You don't need to do that. But Motti, he's a he's a great guy. I know him a little bit. Good researcher. Yeah, uh, extremely 
extreme football knowledge, I would say. Have you read his last book? Uh, just yeah, it's, you should read that one. It's uh, very good. So your uncle, okay. Interesting. Yeah, this is me. Yeah, but there seems to be a lot of students here. Yeah, is this the another football player? I think he is playing on Kobe Co. Actually, this. Have you ever seen this guy? No. According to his name, it's at least the same name as one of these uh, Christian Sun players. So there seems to be two Christian Sun players: here. this guy and this. This guy, who is the captain of the team, he was here once, the first lecture. So it's uh, interesting to see how these football players uh, perform on the exam. Then. Of course, I don't know, because I don't know the link between the student number and the name. So it's hard for me to say. So, nothing? Happy? Nervous? Nah. Nah. A little bit. It will always be a little bit nervous. That's, uh, that's how it should be, isn't it? Okay. Then I wish you luck in your preparations and the exam, and then, yeah, you kind of finish your sport management studies now, don't you? Will anybody of you consider uh, looking into our master studies? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, I, I urge you to look into it, okay? Uh, we are like other people. We try to sell our products, okay? And these are actually very cheap products. They don't cost anything. You'll yeah. get information about it on, yeah, tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, maybe Oscar will say something. Maybe, yeah, I, I will. Yeah, okay, then they show up and uh, and ap apply for our master studies. That's uh, you don't you don't you don't you don't get a job now anyway. Okay, so <laughs> why not? Okay, you know where I am.